Hey everyone, Julie here. Today I want to do a bit of a French lesson with you. We're going to study the near future tense. So this is a great thing, even for beginners. It's something I teach um, during the third lesson, I think, of my course, the third or the fourth, so fairly early on, um, because you can use it even if you only know the, the present tense. And even if you don't know it very well, you can still use it. So it's really great. And I think talking about the future plans um, is always something you know fun and interesting when you're practicing the language at first. So yeah, so let's dive in. I'm going to open my whiteboard. I've prepared some explanations on here. So, so how we're how are we going to build this? A little bit like in English when we say I'm going to and we add a verb to that. Same in French, we're going to use the verb aller, which means to go, and we're going to add an infinitive verb to it. So infinitive verb means non-conjugated. So in French there, you know, être, avoir, aller, prendre, manger, regarder, etc. So this means they're not conjugated, infinitive. For the pronunciation, I've added some extra indications. So the blue letters are silent, okay? We do not say je vais or tu vas. We say je vais, tu vas, okay? We don't pronounce the S's, nor do we put an N sound here. Nous allons, not nous allons, no, nous allons. Uh, no Z, no NT. And then we have a liaison here between nous and allons. A liaison is like a link, basically, where the sounds are linked. It almost sounds like one word. And we'll say nous allons, vous allez, okay? Um, so yeah, so let me read it for you in case you need uh, the pronunciation. So, je vais, je vais, tu vas, tu vas, il, elle, y, elle, on va, il, elle, y, elle, on va, nous allons, nous allons, vous allez, vous allez, il, elle, y, elle, vont, il, elle, y, elle, vont, all right? So let me show you some examples of this structure um, in a real sentence. So, je vais étudier à Paris l'année prochaine. Tu vas voyager cet été. Nous allons boire un verre ce soir. So let's translate this back into English, although I never advise to translate from English or other language into your target language because it's usually not very correct, but I think it's still cool to understand um, what it means literally so you can recognize each word separately. So, je vais étudier, I'm going to study, à Paris, in Paris, l'année prochaine, the year next. Okay, so next year, we say l'année prochaine. Tu vas voyager cet été, you are going to travel this summer, so question structures are a whole different story. I'm not going to dive in uh, right now. So this is a in more like, you know, more informal, more casual way to ask questions. Um, you've probably seen it asked differently. It's also great. Nous allons boire un verre ce soir. We are going to, so boire un verre is kind of an expression. I guess it would be more like get a drink, but literally it means drink a glass uh, this evening, tonight. So, nous allons boire un verre ce soir. We're going to get a drink tonight. Okay. Um, all right. So, this is the main idea, really. It's not that complicated because you see, you don't need to conjugate any of these. Um, you just need to conjugate this. So, I think it's pretty cool. Now, let's add some more information to this. The negation. So, the negation, as you probably know, is ne. Pas. Okay, so ne pas. And here we are going to make it like a little negativity sandwich around the verb aller. So we're going to put ne before aller and pas after aller. Don't put it around this infinitive verb. Don't put it after it or all of it before. It really goes around ne, uh, sorry, around aller. Okay, so some examples. The last sentences that we had, I transformed them into negative sentences. Je ne vais pas étudier à Paris l'année prochaine. Tu ne vas pas voyager cet été. 
nous n'allons, so here it's kind of contracted with allons because allons starts with a vowel, okay? So the ne becomes an N apostrophe. So nous n'allons pas boire un verre ce soir, okay? So I guess this is a little bit trickier than an affirmative sentence, um, but yeah, just remember, make a sandwich around the aller verb and you'll be fine. And then last thing that is, again, next level of you know complications is the reflexive verbs so if you have no idea about reflexive verbs then stop this video right now and just <laughs> exit it um if you do know a bit about reflexive verbs then let me explain to you how we're going to use them in this structure so examples with se coucher so to go to sleep se promener to go for a walk um je vais me coucher dans cinq minutes as you can see here Coucher has stayed the same, it's not conjugated, but the me has been changed to agree with the subject, which is je. Um, so je vais me coucher, I'm going to go to sleep in five minutes, okay? Vous allez vous promener, you are going to go for a walk, to go for a walk. Um, and here, vous has changed to agree with the subject, which is vous. Um, so again, if you don't know anything about reflexive verbs, don't give this too much importance right now. Uh, this is not the most important thing of this structure. The main idea is this one, okay? Um, so that's it for today's uh, lesson. If you want to make some examples of sentences and post them in the comments, I will 100% read them and correct them if there are any mistakes. Um, and yeah, I hope this was clear. And if you have any questions, of course, do comment them as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that I know it's a useful video for you and I know to make more of these. Um, and yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye.